It's contractual, actually. <laughs> what, what percentage of time do you get to be <laughs> yeah. the sidekick? And those meetings are long and acrimonious. <laughs> no, it, it's just good writing, I think. And, and we, I think we daren't let them fall into very many predictable patterns. There's a, there's a lot of careful balancing that goes into this particular odd couple. And uh, I think we're walking the razor's edge fairly well so far. <laughs> so what do you think, Jim? Yeah, what he said. <laughs> it's, it's nice to mix it up a bit. I mean, you, you wouldn't want to be trapped doing sort of... You wouldn't want to be the... Charlie of Charlie's Angels all, all the time. So it's a lot more fun if you get to put on disguises and use tools and, and be out in the field. You know, so I'm, I'm happy about those developments for Mr. Finch. I don't have any comment about what Mr. Reese reads. <laughs> I just look at your eyes. <laughs> I, I, think, I, I think as we go along, we're going to see how much care, how detailed the creation of the machine is, and how little room for error Finch left in, in the design. So I, I'm going to say that I'm confident about Finch's control of the machine. <laughs> Can I say that? <laughs> For now. But I start tinkering with it, you know. <laughs> Are you talking to me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, gosh, I kind of look at it in athletic terms, survive in advance. And um, this year is... is uh, with the mission to always try to save lives. And uh, the, uh, I go back to the beginning of the show when um, the pilot, Finch, says something to me. Uh, what was that that he said? It was beautiful, that, that line. That wow. we're, About how both of you guys are going to die in the course of the show. That yeah. line? Well, it was, we were all... For the job. Damn. I'm trying to get all philosophical here. I can't answer the question. I take it one, one uh, shot at a time. Uh, no, there, there was this, be there in time. To be there in time. And uh, the, now we're in a situation where, uh, you know, we're having to work with uh, no money, uh, communication, yeah. Munitions, all that stuff, and we have to go underground. When Rue gave you new identities, I saw that, like your, your IDs, and, and like a stack of a hundred. So I'm like, that ain't gonna last long. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, the other thing that kept going through my mind, I have to say, when you, in that episode in particular, I was like, oh, I kept putting my hand up, like, this guy should be Batman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what an amazing bat Batman, right? Come on. Yeah. Um. What, what I love about uh, our writers here, and I, I got to say uh, to, you know, thank you, uh, uh, Jonah and Nolan, for giving me another shot at this acting career. But, I, um, <laughs> but uh, what I love about this story is that, you know, it has a lot of the artificial intelligence and all of the, um, you know, stuff that even shows they're trying to do. But what, thing, what our writers do very well is it, it has a simple, uh, uh, it very, as, as complex as it is, it has a, a simplicity to it and that it, it involves people of interest, you and me, and that these guys are out there and they're going to, just like any firefighter or a, a police officer that's willing to lay his life down to uh, save his, uh, you know, friends, um, these guys do it really well and, you, and uh, they, you, that's why I love doing the show every day, you know, that, that uh, they make it fun for me to watch, and that you love these characters, and they're not perfect. Uh, um, and I'm certainly going to end this. What do you think about this, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> no, Jim, I get a fresh question. <laughs> <laughs> okay.